welcome navigos this is ayu navigos today we gonna discuss about calculation of height of tide of particular time of a port admiralty tide tables volume 1 and how to use its graphs so let us consider uh, first of all what are the points to remember before we go into it so the condition for using graphs on volume 1 of admiralty tide tables first point each standard port and associated secondary ports has its own graph. In volume 2 and 3, as I mentioned, you will be having you will be knowing that it will be having a common graph at the beginning of each volume. But in case of volume 1, you will be having each standard port will be having its own graph. Next point time duration between successive tide to be between 5 and 7 hours, similar to the volume 3 and 2 and 3. Time duration of the succeed tide should be 5 and 7 hours. If less than 5 and more than 7, use symbol harmonic method. In that case, you will not be able to use these graphs. Next point to decide the curve on graph, it's not time difference but the range of tide what matters. So, I'll show you the graph. In the previous graph, you had the 5 hour, 6 hour, and 7 hour graph that were used to find. To which uh, which curve to be used that is the duration but in this case you can see here these are the mean ranges spring tides 5.5 nips 4.0 the straight lines are springs and the dotted lines are nips so this is the spring curve and this is the nip curve so here what curve to be used that's dependent upon not the time duration as before now it's dependent upon the height height of tide that is to decide the curve on graph, it's not time difference but the range of tide what matters. Next point that is spring curve and nip curve. Next point here only interpolation is allowed, no extrapolation of curves on graph. That means if height of tide on particular day is below nip and then you should consider nip tide curve only. If its height of tide is above spring, consider the spring tide. That means if you take the range or the tight range and if it's less than 5.5 in this case if uh, let, uh, let's suppose it's less than 5.5 you should take only this spring curve you won't extrapolate and create another curve or if it's 4.0 or less than that you should not you know, extrapolate and take you should take only this how much it will be it doesn't matter you can take only 4 how much does then if it's 3.5 3.6 you take it as for graph curve of 4 that's <coughs> so that's it so now let's solve a problem an example example port and rope question is calculate height of tide at 0630 at and rope on 3rd january 1992 first of all we need to get to admiralty tide tables where we need to get the tides in these the tide tables Volume 1, we have handwork, page number 182, this is how you check where uh, you can find the details. We have the index, handwork 182, you can go into it, page number 182. Here comes your 182, Belgium handwork, and here. You have 3rd Jan and the time what we required is 0630 so it will be coming in between 0211 and 0849 so is high water and low water so let's consider that and write it down there 0211 and 0849 this is 0211 next one is 0630 that we need and the last one was 0 that was 0801 and the heights were 5.1 and 0.8. 5.1 and 0.8. This is 0801. So the heights were 5.1 and 0.8. We need to find the height at 030. So for this we need to first clarify if the time duration between them are between 5 and 7 that is 0801 minus 0211 is 5 hours
zero two one one and zero eight zero one that is five hour some minutes. So doesn't matter that means you can use the graphs. Next thing what we need is a range of tide that is five point one minus point eight. 4.3 so this will decide which graph to use which curve to use so our range is 4.3 our nip is 4 and spring is 5.3 so in between them so it will be close to this nip but little down so let's do that what is the high water time we need to write it down in the graph high water was 0 to 1 1 so it is 0 to 1 1 0 to 1 1 and we need to know what is the low water height and high water height between them that is 5.1 and 0 0.8 so the low water is 0 0.8 and 5.1 so there will be somewhere with 0 0.8 will be here We need to write to clean graph 0.8 to 5.1 maybe zero here. Yeah. So that's it. So now we need to 0 to 1 1 and the time we require is 0 6 3 0. So it will be 0 6 3 0 minus 0 to 1 1 will be after. So it will be 0 3 1 1 0 Four one one zero five one one three one one four one one five one one six one one plus ten minutes. So it will be somewhere around these each divisions are 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So ten minutes. Twenty minutes. Approx twenty minutes. So it will be a line perpendicular over here. And you can calculate as we did before. We can calculate how much it's coming this duration and what we need was <coughs> what we need was for the range of tide is 4.3 and here it is 4 this one is 4 so 4.3 down so just calculate how much distance it is so suppose it is 2 centimeter meter 4 that range that is 5.5 minus 4 1.5 what we need is for 0.3 that is 4.3 so for 0.3 it will be is equal to 2 divided by 1.5 into 0 0.3 that will be 0.4 the 0.4 centimeter that will be 0.4 centimeter from here because it's close to need from need we were taking so it is 0.4 centimeter from here so approximating will be out here so from here we draw a line that is perpendicular parallel to the down bottom line and perpendicular to your up line from there you bring it down directly you will meet at a point so that is the point of height of tide of view so the height of tide is 2.2 meters for that particular time the time is 600630 so we calculated the height of tide at 0630 and work on region 1992 is equal to 2.2 meters. So, your answer here now is how we do the problems with volume 1. I hope you guys understand. If you have any doubts, please write it on the comments. And if you need some spare clauses, on topics please write it on the comments
and keep subscribe to the channel and supporting us we'll be back to you with more interesting topics this is IQ Navigo signing off thank you thank you for your time thank you for watching our video